Jonathan Alonzo was taken into custody earlier this afternoon. This, as we learn more about the victim and some horrific details about the crime. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez is live on Miami Beach with all the late details. Well, what happened here, we're learning, is that victims, uh, or witnesses rather, they spotted this guy at a park, said that something was just off about him. He was talking about drugs. So police were called out and realized that this is a person of interest in a murder. Well, that man, he is here behind me in the Miami Beach Police Department answering quite a few questions. This is the man Miami Beach police are speaking with, 30-year-old Jonathan Alonzo. After a plea from police, we need to speak with him as he may have additional information. And his picture put out there, authorities say someone spotted him at a park in downtown Miami. He's apparently harassing the other workers here who uh, work up there, so it seems like he was causing a bit of a ruckus. Well, there were cops, and then uh, saw the news come out here and found out, and heard some dude carrying a pug was a murder suspect on the beach. Here he is on surveillance video leaving the Sunset Harbor South condo building with a small pug Wednesday. Sometime after that, detectives would discover his roommate dead in the unit they shared. The victim in this case had not been seen at work for a few days. So they contacted us to check on his welfare. Alonzo left the building on foot with that small pug and hadn't been seen until now. The scene, we're told, was grisly upstairs, biohazard bags and other items, an awful smell as well. The victim was said to be dead for days. Those in the building remembering the victim, Lewis Piper as a stand-up guy. Many shocked this would happen to him. He was always really friendly to us and just a really nice guy, and it's just so tragic. So Alonzo is still here right now. That little pug, by the way, that stood out to so many witnesses was not harmed. It was taken by animal control. Records show that Piper actually had a restraining order against him. Again, no formal charges have been filed just yet. So definitely stay tuned. We're live in Miami Beach. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.